Okay, so the kiddo just turned 15 and one of the things she wanted was a butter churn for some reason. So I got on good old Amazon and got a Kilner butter churn. Um, it's a little mason jar with a hand crank, a little paddle in there. I guess the stand mixer wasn't good enough. But uh, yeah, it's self-contained, so we're going to see how this thing works out. Basically, you just add some cream, your ingredients, and uh, churn this thing for quite some time, but it's good exercise for the kiddos, I guess. Um, we, Full disclosure, we have used it once, and it made butter, so this is just kind of a quick little review on how to do that. Um, and it does come with a step-by-step -step guide on how to use it, and I think it may even come with some recipes in here. So, let's see how this thing works out. I'm guessing the first step is to open it up. Yeah, and just put the cream in. And I have 10 ounces because that's supposed to make 4 ounces of actual butter. And I guess the cream is supposed to be room temperature, not fresh out of the fridge. I guess it helps it separate a little bit quicker. So for the first step, you're supposed to crank it for five to six minutes and it will stick in. Get out of there. Our cat likes to uh, raid the pantry. He's a fan of Hawaiian rolls and bread for some reason. He won't go for the jerky. He wants the bread. Oh, hey. Get out of there. Alright, stay tuned. So, I'm on step two which is in the next two to four minutes, it will get really, really thick, and then it'll just get loose. Technically, step two included the first part that she was doing. Step one was bringing your butter up to temperature for two hours. I mean, your cream up to temperature for two hours. So she's gonna continue churning. For step three, I have my butter in here, which is separated from the buttermilk. So I'm just going to pour this fork, I guess, and scrape off the butter from the side of the thing. And then I'm going to strain off the buttermilk into a jar. It says to do it into a like a, a sipping glass, but I'm just going to use a jar. So 10 ounces of heavy cream makes roughly a hundred milliliters um so about half a cup of buttermilk and then a lot of butter it should make four ounces of butter Here's my butter. It's soft now, but after it's chilled, it looks like this. So it's hard. It's a nice form. Very cool. All right, that was the uh, Kilner's. Uh, let's see here. It's a Kilner butter churner.
pretty simple. It takes quite a bit of time, I think, to do that 10 ounces. Uh, she was cranking for quite a while, but mm -hmm. depending on your arm strength and your speed and everything, I guess it could be longer or shorter. So, anyway, hope you liked it. We'll have to test out some of this butter later. All right, on to the next.